Today on The Justice Court, a business partnership between two friends goes south when a nameless, faceless third party comes calling from across the border. The first business I did with you, something supposed to come out before I could be able to do the second one. But he confused me, he said, if we take the second one, that the first business will not even come out. So you supplied 343,000 era worth initially? Yes. I called the man number. I didn't get the man number last year. Okay, he didn't pick the call. He drank or the line did not go through. The line, the line didn't go again. Okay. And I told her that why this man number is not going. Even the thing really affected me because the man was just like a blessing to me. I was passing those. So what did you do? He bothered you. He bothered you. He bothered me to the extent that there is no way I can trace the man. There is nothing I can do to get the man. I have never been in Cameroon before. You told him to be patient because you have. I'm quoting you. Our, for what? Our, you have your plan. So let me know the plan you have. Justice is equity and it knows no boundary. The litigants have genuine cause of action and George Fumi Asaulu is ever ready to dispense justice ensuring amicable settlement. So how come she's not been paying this man out of the profit she's making? Well, Explain she's it to right. her. It because as far as I'm concerned, that's an act of wickedness. Well, and she's it. trying to play smart. Well, that's the impression I'm having. She is fearless. Don't you ever, ever look at me straight in the eyes and say, wait. She is firm. I don't see I this see. man as somebody that will kill you. All he wants is for you to just perform conjugal rights. <laughs> I'm telling you. She is hilarious. The dispute is real. And the judgment is binding. This is the justice court. Victor is suing Samuel for the sum of 650,000 Naira. Victor says he gave Samuel food ingredients, which he later supplied to a Cameroonian, but is yet to bring in the returns to the Nigerian owner. Samuel says the Cameroonian receiver absconded with the goods, so he needs time to pay. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolo presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Victor and Sam. At his Thank you, Thank you. You're welcome, Your Honor. Mr. Victor Onoba, you are the plaintiff here, and you are suing Mr. Samuel Amakalu for the sum of 650,000 naira. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You claim he promised to pay back the money, but he's yet to pay. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Samuel Amakalo. Yes, sir. You are a business partner to the plaintiff. Yes. Can you narrate to me what transpired Your Honor, between the two of you? Let me know when you met. He's my friend, he's my brother. We served the same boss. Okay. So we did the same business. So I. He met me, he told me that he have a client that stays in Cameroon. What kind of business are the two of you into? Food ingredients. Manufacturing? Yes. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. And yeah. So he met me, he told me he have a client from Cameroon that he need to supply spices to. The ones he has is not enough. So he needed my own spices to accompany the whole business. The first supply I gave to him was on February. What quantity? And what was the value? The money? Uh, the, the, money the money is about uh, 343,200. The first receipt that I issued That's to him. That's the value of the first set of products? Yeah, the first I, set of products I supplied to him. 443,000. 343,200. He told me that there was a delay uh, from the Cameroon person that he, do, he normally do business with because I normally disturb him. I normally call him, ask of That's the money. That's the person he claimed the supply yeah. is meant for. Yes. Okay. So he normally tells me a story that there, there is a delay 
that the man sees his money and everything. So, but apart from that, the next supplier supplied to him was on December after the incident. He said they needed more goods, so therefore they can be able to pay me everything altogether. I didn't agree. I said the first business I did with you, something supposed to come out before I could be able to do the second, the second one. But he confused me, he said, if we had the second one, that the first business would not even come out based on the first money. So I now run around, look for money, and make available some goods again that I give him the second uh, badge, which is on December, December last year. So that one is about 307, 200. The second business size. 307. 200, yes. When I find out that he was running away from me, if I called me, you know, he don't normally pick up my calls. I he get one of his brother that I, I do meet uh, in Lagos. I met him, he said he lost his mother, uh, blah, 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 since he doesn't normally pick my calls. So I was worried. Oh, uh, till I now met a friend, um, Lucky. I, I before I wanted to a station that I would take it to a police station for me to recover my money. You don't know his house. His house I know was, uh, the place in, he has office before, at uh, first stack. Do you understand? But he's no more there. At what point in time did he move out of that house? Was it before you supplied the product or after you supplied the product to him? He was there before. He has an office before there. It's after then he, he located from that place. So what time did you check him out there? Earlier January this year, January. I start, I start looking for him. You mean you went there in January and you were told that I was no longer? Day. Okay. Now, Mr. Amakalu, Samuel, I want to know what actually transpired. Yeah, we started this business. We serve the same master. That, the Cameroon man is talking about that, that the business is not the first, not the second, not the third time that he have released money, released goods. Who? The same Vito. To so the to same the, man? The same man. Because I have much customer than him. So whatever any time the customer came much, I would not tell him, walk and bring to me. Before the first, this particular money was seized, at least half, we have, I have, we have released a goose that I, which I have sent to Kimberu more than three or four times, but I didn't count. So this is not the first time, it's not the second time, it's not the third time. And he has been collecting his money. We have done a business, at least from since 2013, we have done a business together because when he cried for me that he know that he have a goose, he doesn't, he doesn't have more customer. Then what I will always tell him that bring 20 cartons, bring 50, just bring 30 cartons. He knows that I have a lot of customer that I can move the goose to. But when this problem come up here, I was carrying a goose. I used to have a customer in Cameroon. So when the man called me, I do way bill to him to I come. Then when I do the first way bill, he pay me the money. I do the second one. Even the money was still involved. I still pay her the money. We do the third. We do it since like two years, three years. So what happened? Then the last one was last year. Then I shipped the goose. I called the man. I couldn't get the number. I come you to called him. the man, what happened? I called the man number. Yes. I didn't get the man number last year. Okay, he I didn't pick the call. It the, drank the, or the, the line did not go through? The, 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 line, the line didn't go again. Okay. And I told her that why this man number is not going. Even the thing really affected me because the man was just like a blessing to me. So and I told him, if I lose, if, what, what happened? This man number is not going. Then I'll go on WhatsApp, no way. On Facebook, no way. The thing bothered me. What I was passing those. So what did you do? It bothered you. It bothered you. It bothered, it bothered me to the extent. Uh, there is no way I can trace the man. There is nothing I can do to get the man. I have never been in Cameroon before. So I came. I came to Vito. I tell Vito, get patient. I will go. Anyhow, if things mature, I will pay you the money. We are in that process. I lost my mom. He was away when my mom was sick. I even called on the phone that I would travel to village. My mom is dying. That I want to bring her to FMC Omaha. I call on my in the phone in the evening around seven. So let him go. I saw his missed call. I didn't pick it for the whole day. He was calling me, calling me, but I was in the village. And I come out from the village with my mother. I said, my mother is FMC. I'm coming to Lagos. Then when I come, we'll you see. You called to inform him? Yes. Okay. I came to Lagos. Now I called Vito. I said, Vito, let's see. Please, you have to get patient. 
that any, any time things move, that you must know. He asked me, how is this going to know? I said, as it's affecting me, it's affecting you, which I know. But if, if my business, if the thing is still moving the way it's moving, his own will move. I have collected the goods to him. I said to him, Bayasa, he's aware of That's it. That's not the issue. I'm just concerned so, about the one before. So I told him that he didn't want to agree. He started trusting me everywhere, stressing me. And I called her last time. I said, the last time the people here called me, then I come there at Menikeja and I told her, Vito, why are you reporting me up on he that? He will report you because he wants his money back. Yes. These two business partners certainly aren't getting along. When money is involved, friendships go out the window. Who will win and who will lose? So you are not on the same page. So what have you done? So I've told him since that he should be a person that I am looking for a way to raise money so I can no, what do one or two things to pay him? Remember, money. what are the ways you have, you are working on? Because you took the second batch in December last year. You know how many months it has taken you to be telling me now that I have ways. So I'm interested in knowing the ways. Let me tell you, because so far, up to this point, you have not denied that you are indebted to him to the sum of 343 and 307,200, right? That's 650,200 Naira. Yes. So if he has that capital tied down with you, he must worry you. I know. Do you agree? He, he, he will know that the money he's talking about, the one that my own money inside the goods is tied through of it. The thing draws me back. That's you. You have lots of customers. You repeated it three times now. Yes. You have lots of customers. Yes. So if you have a loss on this, you can easily make profit on others. Yes, but Do you got, understand? It, you said it, he does not have a lot of customers. You stated it right now. Yes. So you are not on the same page. I know that. You might not have, you might lose 650,000 Naira and it might not really affect your business you because you have business. lots of customers. You affect my business. But in his own case, He's bothered. He knows he affects And he business. needs the money. He knows he really affects my business. He knows that. You have lots of customers. I I'm quoting you. You, you, use money you to, said it. We use money to finance those I customers. I have more customers than him. Yes. First time. He knows I have lots of customers. Yes. That's the second time. I have a lot of customers. That's the third time. Yes. You started with, I have more customers than him. So you are not on the same page. So what have you done? So I've told him since that he should get a person that I am looking for a way to raise money so I can know what do one or two things to pay him. Remember, more. what are the ways you have, you are working on? Because you took the second batch in December last year. You know how many months it has taken you to be telling me now that I have ways. No, before that so I'm one, interested in knowing the ways. Before the one of December, mm -hmm. we have done another one that I pay. I didn't hold him for that one. This so you are still owing 343. I know. And you are still owing 307. That's his claim before this court. And that's the only thing I'm addressing. So how do you intend to pay? What are the plans you have? So since then, uh, things have been so wrong. You said it now. You said you have, you, should I, be, you, you told him to be patient because you have, I'm quoting you, word our, for word. My, our, you have your plan. So let me know the plan you have. Why well, the thing is like this, our business, he knows, is not the way he used to be. He's not the, like, past for at least from four years now, he's not the way he used to be. He knows that. If he's the way, I won't hold him by this time. Because as I'm, he, we don't go to the market and buy, we we'll buy this and buy this, you buy, you do this, you go to factory and buy this and buy this. And I, he knows that I don't do all those things again. So what happened to I, all these, your various customers? There is no way I can fill them back. I don't have a goods to fill them back. From onset, you've never had the capacity to satisfy them from what you, you told me. No, before... That's why you claim that you sometimes fall back on him. Like example, like before, I, in Lagos, I supplied some supermarket in Lagos, I supply. I supplies in Tony's. What Sims. business are you doing right now? Well, I'm still doing the same business. So when did you move out of your former place? It's this year that I moved out from there. What time? It should be around February. You said you were there in January. Yeah, it's such for him on January. I was there. But he, I, did, I wasn't in office then. 
I was still there in that okay, general. So where December. are you now? I, I have an office in East. So and I always come to Lagos. So you are no longer operating in Lagos. I operate in Lagos. There's no so any time I come to Lagos. Where are you using in Lagos? Her. I stay in First Act. Which premises are you using? Twenty three Road. Where? Twenty three Road. You know the place. He yes, that it. is the place I, I, I search for him, the office, but it's no more there. Okay, so you, you, that place, is it a rented apartment? That place was my office. Then, but he's still selling me in the first act. We see, wherever any time I come to Lagos to stop. You've not stop. answered my question. This new place, is it your personal property? No. How long have you been there? It's not been long, it's this year. This year? How much did you pay for rent there? That is where the, where the building is. It's not in Lagos here. It's no more, he's no. It's my, just my uncle building. I stayed there to work. You just told me now. You are contradicting. Look, look at me straight in the eyes. Do you understand? I understand you. If you think you can call me and start messing me around by telling lies, you'll regret it. You claim that it belongs to your uncle. The place it belongs to somebody who comes from my place. Then I told him, it's not my your, uncle. Wait. Your uncle initially. Somebody that came from your place. What's the name of the person? I have a family. I told her that my children and my son, my wife and my two sons cannot be in Lagos. I told him this, that I cannot be paying for too much rent. And I have a, a customers in Bayasa and Uyo, more than Lagos. I don't know where so you are on I this went, story. I, Listen I to me. You, I told her before Listen I Listen to me. When I'm talking, you keep quiet. I asked a direct question. The property that we're talking about, is it a rented apartment? It's a rented apartment, but I didn't pay it once. You didn't pay? Who paid? I paid him gradually, gradually. Did you pay? I paid. How much did you pay? I paid 200. You've paid in full, or you are still owing? I'm still holding, even now. How much are you owing? I know that's I'm what holding, you tell me. So, I'm, how much are you still owing? I'm holding 100. You paid 100? Yes, I'm holding 100. So, you have 100K, 100,000 naira outstanding. Mm, there. I'm going to investigate all this, so you better be straight. So when, when was the first time you, the initial payment? The initial payment, I packed in there this year. The initial payment was last year. Before I Initial back, payments when? I paid that. I paid in there last Which year. month? That was around December, after my mother burial. December. How much did you pay then? I paid 100, many 100. So uh, you've not made any other payment up to now? I paid for that place last year. I didn't pack in there. Before I now come back to Lagos so and So you me. paid and your time ran out ran without your moving in? Moving in. So you had so much excess money, you just decided to no, no, it wasn't that easy. one out? No, it wasn't easy for me. As at this time? You were already owing this man. As of December, you were already owing 200,000 naira. Yes. But you rather pay for a premises that you know is of no use to you. No, it's useful. My, my family you is there. You use the place. My family is there. So who is your now? From Arochukun. What's your relationship with the person? You're from the same place. But it's not your uncle. Well, I just take him as a brother, as an uncle. They How work. long have you been in that property? How long have you stayed in there? Last year. Just last year and last this year. Last year and this year. Two years now. All right then. Okay. Next, Judge Fumi gives her take on the case. When you give out products or you're going to contract with people, as long as it involves money, make sure you go for collateral. Get guarantor. It's not about how long you've known people. People change overnight. Usually, plaintiffs call me here. You complain a lot about the way you are losing out money. People take loan. You go into business together, they are owing, they won't pay back. And most times, even when they make money, they spend the money on something else. And they end up taking you for granted. When you give out products or you go into contract with people, as long as it involves money, make sure you go for collateral. Get guarantor. It's not about how long you've known people. People change overnight. You could request for post-data check. In your own case, everything you have said to me today, you are full of a lot of inconsistencies. You keep changing. The only thing that can fly with is the fact that you have accepted you are owing and you have to pay. 
What you did is pure breach of trust. Do you understand? Because for him, I'm sure he feels comfortable with you simply because of the number of years that he had known you. And he kept referring to the fact that you've served the same boss before. Apparently, you both train at the same place. Is that what you meant by that? Yes. So he's known you for so long. Yes. It could have been a business gone wrong. Do you understand? But your demeanor in the courts today, your demeanor before me, and all your utterances is very hard for me to take you by your word. I'm sure when you sent all those products to Cameroon, do you even have proof? Can you even prove to me that these goods were actually sent to Cameroon? He knows. He knows. That's your proof. No, you have... You have he one, knows. You have... Do you know you could be locked up for this? Because it sounds so funny to you. You know you could go for 10 years. Seems you don't know the implication of what we've just done. Next, the ruling. Judgment for the plaintiff in the sum of 650,200 naira. Is it 200 naira? It's 200. To be paid by Samuel Amakalu to Victor Onoba. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case or call 0805-9837-472. I really enjoy the thing about the problem is that every problem is just because of the money. Without the money, I won't be here. If I'm not holding him, I won't be here. Actually, I never know that it will be done this way, but I'm okay by it. I will just take in my junior, but as I told you before, that if you have 10% of things in life, I contribute at six. So I don't see reason why, because of 650, I will not be trading. What I know that I'll make him to see what money for his first time. So I won't be trading because of 650. As I said earlier before, he's my friend and he's my brother. So. Our relationship will still hold. I'm from Abia State, from Anambra State. But we have lived in the same house for more than five, six, more than seven years. When I was, when we were serving some, my own master. So it just means we are a brother. Uh, at least now if I want to do business with anyone, I will make sure at least there is something, the person will give me collateral or maybe there will be something tangible that I will hold hand if I can go into the business. I learned a lot.